Tenants in expensive housing markets often have unequal bargaining power if their landlord doesn't repair uninhabitable conditions. In Knight v. Halstammer, the court deals with this issue when a landlord attempts to collect withheld rent. James Knight bought a 30-unit apartment building in Venice, California, and hired Western Investment Properties to manage the property. The next day, the management company sent a letter to the tenants saying that rent would be substantially increased. Shortly after, a representative of the Tenants Association wrote a letter to the management company saying the tenants would withhold all future rent payments because of the increases and because the building was in disrepair. The management company indicated vacant apartments and common areas would undergo repairs, but not the occupied units. Soon after, the tenants received three-day notices to either pay the increased rent or face eviction. The tenants had complained before service of the notices and to the previous manager about numerous issues, including wall cracks, peeling paint, water leaks, heating and electrical problems, broken windows, rodents, cockroaches, and an elevator that didn't always stop on the ground floor. Only some issues had been addressed. Knight brought unlawful detainer or holdover tenancy actions against seven tenants. The tenants claimed in defense that Knight had breached their implied warranty of habitability. The suits were consolidated and went to trial. Knight testified that he had plans for major renovations to the common areas. He noted that a few complaints had been fixed and that the tenants hadn't paid rent since the increases. The jury was unable to reach a verdict for three tenants and found for Knight against the other four. The four tenants appealed, claiming an issue with the jury instructions.